This uh, poem is entitled, A Letter to My Mother. My name is Yolanda Wilson, and uh, this poem that I'm about to read is dedicated to my mother who passed away 10 years ago. It's called, uh, A Letter to My Mother. All in a moment, you can lose someone very special, a person that you shared every secret with, or so you they thought. Now with this inevitable trip to heaven, and you're now powerless, compared to their omnipresent wings, that are given to angels. You begin to reminisce over all of the moments shared. Please God, prior to opening up the gates, do I have time to come clean? The day I said the final goodbye to my mother, one filled with honesty, integrity, and most importantly, true confessions of a daughter who seemed so sweet, willing to, ju to do just about anything for mommy. I started off by writing the time that you noticed all the soda was diluted with water and the stain that it left on my shirt, or the time I filled your coffee pot with dirt. Scratching the paper repeatedly, should I tell you the time I wore your favorite skirt? You adored that beautiful ceramic apple centerpiece. Oh, but I tried to repair it perfectly. If only the glue would have lasted. During those warm summer days, you would have never noticed one of the apples had a tear. Although you will not need your car anymore, the right rear bumper damage happened one night at a corner store. I tried telling you, but you looked so happy watching me drive your car for the first time as you smiled at me through the front door. There's one more final thing that I need to tell you, and that is the time that you told me to wash all of the dishes and put all of the food away. If it weren't for that awful argument over the phone with my sister that night, we spilled it on the floor during a food fight. The next evening, you brought dinner home. What a delight. Please don't come pay me a visit despite all I've confessed. Miss you so much, but I know you're resting from your labor. I'm confident that when in trouble, I have a dependable friend up there, up there that will never mind doing me a favor. And that was written in 2000. That's the reason why I started writing poetry originally. It was in 2000 when she passed away. And this one, like I tried to read before, and I'm going to try and attempt it again, is called Handbook to Paradise. And it really tells you about the diversity and fun mm -hmm. and how it is to live in Fort Bend County. <clears throat> I know a place where treasures are seen, from the Brazos River to Oyster Creek, its beauty never ends. Where charitable fundraisers are endless and laughter is plenty, its pulse moves deep in the veins of Texas and contributions help many. This destination kisses the sun as the moon fades and long walks are trendy. As, it tears, as its tears are often those of joy and its never ending hope for tomorrow. Do you care to follow me there on an exciting adventure as you promise to move swiftly as I take you on a journey that will ultimately become to feel like home rather quickly? Let's tour the old imperial sugar mill as you view the reaping of its seed. Perhaps Missouri City's freedom tree will grant you serenity. Both have deep histories indeed. Maybe you feel a sweet tooth coming on and want to indulge in a sweet delight quench your thirst in Rosenberg or eat at First Colony Mall, you'll find people so polite. Are you craving barbecue from Richmond's swinging door? Whether here for the holidays or any given season, we'll leave you wanting more. There's something to do for everyone who are awake or slumber. Please stop by during the 4th of July. People from all ethnicities, cultures, and sizes. Parades, petting zoos, face paint, fireworks shows, captivated by surprises. Neighboring cities will witness the show from Rosenberg's to Stafford's own festivities. The smell of cotton candy, funnel cake, walking on stilts, enjoyment of all possibilities. If you ever return home, you'll feel like a visitor like never before. Dreaming of Missouri City, Richmond, Sugarland, and Rosenberg's restaurants and stores. If you're ever in this part of the Lone Star State, again, look us up. You'll see for yourself that you catch breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and shop until you can barely close your vehicle's trunk. 
It's hard to describe all what you have experienced by phone. So if someone asks about us, they'll have to come to Fort Bend County on their own. And that's it. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful.